With 2021 now behind us, there are a ton of great games on the horizon for Nintendo in 2022. Let's get into it. Hey gamers, Brian D here, and welcome to my top five upcoming Nintendo Switch games of 2022. As a reminder, the games listed in this top five are my personal opinion, so if you didn't see a game that you were expecting to see, let me know down in the comments. Coming in at number five on my list is Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Kirby's latest adventure features the series' first ever jump to 3D and looks fantastic. Think Mario Odyssey style, but it's Kirby. I personally have not played a Kirby game since Return to Dreamland on the Wii, so I'm excited to see more about the game as we approach its release. It seems that a variety of familiar power-ups from the franchise will return. I'm sure the game will add additional new power-ups and hopefully utilize the 3D environment in creative ways. I'm hoping to see the Forgotten Land take more risks, paralleling the jump to 3D. Kirby games are often noted as being too easy, so perhaps the 3D environment can add additional challenge to the series for those seeking it. Our beloved Kirbo's next adventure is slated for a Spring 2022 release. Number four on my list is... Uh, mommy, sorry? I mean, uh, uh, Bayonetta 3. The long-awaited next entry in the Bayonetta series was finally revealed in 2021 after being teased at the Game Awards back in 2017. After a four-year drought and endless Bayo 3! speculation tweets, Nintendo Direct win! her unfashionably late arrival to the Switch is finally this year. I played the original Bayo on Xbox 360 back in the day, and I can't wait to check out Bayo 3. Bayonetta's magical hair returns in a new, fresh style, as well as her sick dance moves. I've always loved the music in Bayonetta, and the theme in the trailer definitely has me excited for this new entry in the series. You're a kid, you're a squid, you're a kid, you're a squid. Coming in at number three on my list is Splatoon 3. The colorful take on the shooter genre is returning to Nintendo Switch in 2022. The original Splatoon consumed a solid two years of my life, and admittedly, Splatoon 2 just did not have the same magic for me. I may have been burnt out from playing the original Splatoon so much, but I just couldn't get into 2 to the same degree. As a result, I have not consistently played Splatoon in a very long time. Splatoon's biggest draw is obviously its online multiplayer, and one of my biggest gripes about the game has been the awful hourly-based map selection. For those unfamiliar, the game would only have two maps available for a few hours at a time. Part of me feels this was meant to get players to try the other modes, which generally had different maps than Turf Wars 2 maps. I feel all it did for me was deter me from playing for long periods of time due to the game's feeling stale. I'm hoping for either a way to vote on maps at the start of each game, similar to like Halo or Call of Duty, or even just a random selection based on the game mode, like Overwatch. I'm also hoping for a ranked version of Turf War, as well as some other creative new modes to play with friends, similar to Splatoon 2 Salmon Run. Obviously, I'm excited for the new abilities and weapons that we've seen so far in the trailer. It's pretty clear someone on the Splatoon dev team has been playing a bit of Overwatch. Hey, Winston Bubble. Hello, Wrecking Ball. All in all, I'm definitely looking forward to getting back into the series when 3 launches later this year. The sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild takes the number 2 spot on my list. After the footage was shown at E3 this past year, everyone has been getting super excited for Breath of the Wild 2 and speculating just what is going to happen in this sequel. It seems the game will begin with Link and Zelda exploring and stumbling upon something mysterious. I need to know what this hand is. I need to know what happens to Link's arm. Look at these new powers! It's hard to believe that Breath of the Wild was released nearly five years ago as a hybrid release for both the Wii U and as a launch title for the Switch. As arguably one of the greatest games of all time, there's no surprise that everyone is excited to play its sequel. <clears throat> uh, my personal favorite will always be Wind Waker. Please play it. Since then, Zelda fans have received a remake, spin-offs, an HD port, and a prequel to Breath of the Wild within Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Will the mysterious Breath of the Wild 2 live up to the hype and expectations of fans? Only time will tell. I anticipate this game to be the big holiday game for Nintendo in 2022, and a must-own for all Switch users. And coming in at my most anticipated game of 2022 is Pokemon Legends Arceus. Arceus? Arceus? Ah, who cares? I've been a long-time fan of the Pokemon series. I started with Red and Blue back when I was four or five years old, and I've never looked back. In a way, both the series and I have evolved alongside each other. Eh? Eh? See what it did there? I've played all the main series titles and a ton of the spin-offs. Don't even get me started on how much I adore any and all Pokemon animation. We will literally be here for days. Anyway, I've been waiting for a fresh take on the core game series for a long time, and this new take may be exactly what the series needs. From what we've seen so far, everything looks so seamless, from the overworld to the encounters to catching, rinse and repeat. It's untraditionally smooth for Pokemon. Legends Arceus takes the player on an adventure through the Sinnoh region of old, formerly known as the Hisui region. On the semi-open world adventure, you'll discover Pokemon and help form the first official records, like a Pokedex, of Pokemon for the region through a variety of research tasks. In the game, the player will encounter many seemingly familiar faces, which are actually the ancestors of several characters that already exist in the Pokemon universe, which I think is really awesome. There's also new, or I guess old, 
Pokemon in the game, but like like Weirdier and Basket Legion, that also function as mounts. Did you know wild Pokemon can actually attack you? Garchomp, please. Please, I've already gone through this trauma too much with Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Cynthia's Garchomp has left me with emotional damage that I don't think I can recover from. I can't wait to see the kind of content that's going to come out of this game. It's going to be such a great time. Just think of the challenge runs that people will think up for this. A Nuzlocke might be twofold now. If your Pokemon faint, or if you faint, it's crazy to think I'm going to get Wombo comboed by a Garchomp, but I'm a thousand percent here for it. So there you have it, my top five upcoming games for the Nintendo Switch in 2022. Are there any big games coming out that you're looking forward to playing? Let me know down below in the comments. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I also stream on Twitch three days a week, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern time. Definitely come check out our awesome community over there. We'd love to have you. All right, guys, until next time, see you later.